Ryan, probably a good performance, but just on the end of the wrong result again. Which way is going wrong? Um, to be honest, I don't think there's a lot going wrong. I think if you look at their performance today and they don't score, you look at it and you think, oh, they've had one chance. You say it's a good defensive, solid performance. And then you look at us the other end, we've, we've had, I don't know how many chances, well into double figures. And whether it's been blocked or we've not put them away, then you can, you can just look at it and say, oh, it's a good performance. But at the end of the day, we've just got to put the ball in the net, whether it comes off someone's bum, someone's arm, just, just bobbles in, it's, it's just got to go in the net. And that's the thing, isn't it? Anyone that's come to the game today and watched that performance will know it was a good performance. The ball just didn't hit the back of the net. What did you actually make of the performance overall from yourself and the team? Well, I think um, we were solid today. I thought, thought we played some really good football. We created a lot of chances, but like you said, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's about the, the points on the board. And at the end of the day, we're not putting the points on the board. We can create as many chances as you like, but I'd rather go and have one, two chances and win the game one, two now, if, if we're being honest. But we know what we've got to do. We've got to erase the silly mistakes or, or not allow them to get in so easily. But I think if we keep going, it's going to come for us. Do you literally just feel then it's just a case of one just needs to sort of bobble in over the line and then that run will come? Yeah, I mean, since I've been here, um, I've said the way we play football, the way we're, we're controlling games, I mean, we're playing on some big sides and and, and we're absolutely, we, we should be putting them away. We should, there's no doubt about that. But like you said, we just need a scruffy goal or something like that. But I think if we stick with it, keep doing what we're doing, it's, it's, it's really going to change. What did you make of your performance today? Um, well, <laughs> I've got man of the match and it's just one of those, it's a bit of a bittersweet feeling. I mean, I'd mean, i I'd rather have got the win and not been man of the match, but at the end of the day, um, it's it's nice, it's nice to be appreciated by the fans, but I'd have much preferred to get the three points today. And how's your time at Chesterfield been so far? So not been here too long, but like you say, keep keeping going and a man of the match performance today. Yeah, I mean, the lads, the fans, everybody at the club, they've welcomed me and my family with open arms and it's, it, I've really enjoyed it, if I'm being honest. Uh, working with the gaffer, Robbo, Webby, uh, Kieran, it's been it's been really good and I think it's showing on the pitch and the performances, like I said. If we start getting them wins, I think everybody's going to be more than happy. And how are you finding it playing in this, this formation? Yeah, I mean, it's a similar formation to what I was playing in at Ulti. Obviously, there's, there's a bit more work rate. And uh, I think the gaffer always makes his substitutes at the top end of the pitch because his, his demands are so high from them. He expects you to go to you can't run no more and then he'll bring someone on as he likes to say to carry the baton on. But yeah, I think, um, like I said, we've just, <laughs> we've just got to put the ball in the net and I'm sure we can put an end to all this pain and misery. And there's so many competition for places as well, isn't it? Does that help you as a player? Yeah, of course. I think um, the balance in the squad's very good. The depth in the squad's very good. And I think um, it, that, that really helps to push everyone on in the dressing room. It's a great dressing room. And like I said, when we maybe get that scruffy win, I'm sure we'll go on a, a, a good and a long run. And then just finally, Wrexham on Tuesday. Games don't come much bigger, obviously. You know, sort of the big dogs in this league, aren't they? But actually, some people would say that that's probably the best game you could bounce back into. Yeah, 100%. If we go there and we beat them, everybody looks at it and says it's a massive victory. But I think it'll suit us a little bit more playing against the likes of your Wrexham's, your Notts Counties. I think when we play against teams that really want to have a go against us, that suits us more. I mean, we've played against a few teams of late and they just want to park the buzz. And it, it's, it's a little bit hard to play against. And like you said, they end up a lot of shots blocked because they've got that many men behind the ball. But yeah, like you said, it'd be great to go there and get a result and hopefully start um, a good and a long run.